What is going on, my home studio addicts? Joel from the Home Recording Network with a video today just answering a question that I got from a subscriber. I always love answering questions or helping people out. The whole point of this channel is to reach people trying to do this mixing and recording stuff from home. Uh, and I'm starting to get a lot more questions recently because my subscriber list, both my email subscriber list and my YouTube subscribers are going up. So that means I'm reaching people and that that's a good thing. <laughs> so someone had a question on my vocal bus processing from one of my older videos. Now, uh, the technique that I use on my vocal bus is I, I add some multiband compression to kind of tuck the vocals in the mix a bit more so they're not spiking out and popping out of the mix. Uh, basically keeping the, the whole vocal bus under control. So this is the mix I was in in that older video. And this is the multiband compressor. Now... Let's just play this song and see what this compressor is doing real quick. Teach me how to feel this rhythm now. Can you teach me how to live? Yeah, so we're just getting some light compression here. This isn't a huge difference in the mix, but if you wanna know more about this technique, you can go back to that video. But right now I wanna answer the question that this subscriber had, and that is how do you do this when you're not using the Fab Filter plugin? He said he was using the C4 multiband compressor from Waves. Now, I love the Fab Filter multiband, but this technique can be done in what ever multiband you have so you could even be using the the stock logic multiband or whatever DAW you're in but c4 is a great multiband as well i see a lot of engineers using that so i'm just going to uh, run through and show you how you would set this up in c4 now i don't have the c4 multiband but he did send me a picture so i'm just going to bring that up real quick and show you what the settings would be. Now, this is his settings over here. And if we look at my compressor, my compressor is only working on the middle two bands here. We're not touching this high band or this lower band. There's not really anything going on down here in the vocals anyways. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is zero out all the the gains i see all the gain is set this one's plus three plus three plus three and plus seven so you're going to want to zero out all of those i'm not adding any gain on mine The the level is set right at zero i'm not trying to add gain here i'm just trying to do a little bit of compression so yeah zero out all the makeup gain here and then because we're not using these top or the the lower band you can bring the threshold all the way up to the top so that there's no compression happening on this guy or this guy so you can bring those all the way up to the top so we're not getting any compression on on the high and the low band next it looks like he has the ranges set correctly so I'm going from just about 100 hertz up to 4K and then from 4K up to about 12K. So all the ranges look okay for these middle two bands, which we're doing the compression on. Okay, so next let's talk about the range. So on my multiband compressors, usually anytime I'm working with a multiband, my range is set to negative 3 dB. So let's see here, we got, yeah, negative three here. And then on this, band we have about negative three as well so where these are negative six you are going to want to set those to negative three again we're not trying to get a ton of compression here okay and next for the attack and release times so again we're only worried about these middle bands and these look like the default settings for the c4 I know that because my mentor actually uses a C4 and uses it. And it's actually who I picked up the tip from. 
and he just keeps these default settings as well. So you should be good with your attack and release. So after you have all your settings uh, figured out there, I would just mess with the threshold till you are getting a few dBs of gain reduction to tuck those vocals in the mix a bit more. So that should work out pretty nicely for you. Again, we're not trying to get a ton of compression here. We're just trying to tuck those vocals in when they're peaking out. So again, I'll just play the vocals and show you how much dB reduction we're getting here. Teach me how to feel this rhythm now. Can you teach me how to live? Yeah, so it looks like one, maybe two dBs of gain reduction at the most there. So not not a ton, um, but if you incorporate those settings into your C4, they should work out pretty nicely. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.